And then the statement says, Dvorak described Avery as such a dirty man that every time he would come to the jail, the sheriff's deputies would have to make Avery take a shower. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Did you tell that to Ms. Strauss? Possibly, but not in those words. In what words? That Do you remember the words you told her? I would object to the form of the question foundation. This is improper impeachment. There's nothing to impeach you. Okay. Do you remember the words you used when you described Mr. Avery as a dirty man to Ms. Strauss? Objection to the form. Yeah. That's not a foundation. You can answer. I do not remember specifically, but reading this, this is not my words. Well, if you don't remember, how can you tell us that? Objection argumentative. Go ahead, ma'am. You can answer. I would say I do not speak or talk, converse in this kind of verbiage. So you think Ms. Strauss must have been mistaken when she recorded this statement as being something that you told her? Object to the form of the question. Yeah, I don't Is that correct? Same objection. You can answer. I believe she may have taken the words out of context. What context? putting her verbiage into the statement. Why would you think she would do that? Objection falls through speculation. You can answer. It would be a matter of verbal perception. The next paragraph, first full paragraph on the page, Dvorak described Avery as an abusive man. Did you tell that to Ms. Strauss? Possibly. Do you remember whether you did or not? No, I do not. And it says, Dvorak said that she did not know if Avery was abusive towards his wife, but Dvorak stated that she has observed Avery chain his son with a metal chain in the front yard. Did you say that to Ms. Strauss? Yes, I believe so. Had you observed Avery chain his son with a metal chain in the front yard? Yes, I did. On how many occasions? One that I know of. Then it says, Dvorak said this was Avery's way of babysitting his children. Did you say that to Ms. Strauss? Possibly. How did you know that? That was an observation. Based on that one occasion? Yes. Then it says, it did not come as a surprise that Avery could commit a crime such as this. Did you say that to Ms. Strauss? Possibly this does not sound like my verbiage. You just don't remember whether you said that or not? No, I do not. Dvorak said this assault did fit Avery's pattern of previous crimes. Did you say that to Ms. Strauss? Possibly, but again, this is not my verbiage. What pattern of previous crimes? Check to the form. Yeah, and foundation. Well, if you possibly said this to her, what's the pattern of previous crimes you were referring to? Form of question of foundation. You can Check. answer. You may answer. His interaction with society, uh, setting of the cat on fire. Anything else you remember? Not at this time. You believe setting a cat on fire would be a previous crime that would suggest that somebody engaged in a rape? Objective misdeeds or testimony. She said, you may answer, ma'am. John, stop trying to tell her how to testify. Well, then you stop repeating her testimony inappropriately, counsel, and I'll stop objecting. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. We'll go see the judge about all of this. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Okay. 
Would you read the question back, please? Sure. You believe setting a cap on fire would be a previous crime that would suggest that somebody engaged in a rape? Object. Stand by. Okay, would we replay the previous question back on the record? You can answer. Again, your question is unclear. What's unclear about it? Anyone is possible of doing any type of crime. 